So excited, we're finally in Laos. We're starting our trip out in the UNESCO World Heritage listed city of Luang Prabang. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Initial impressions, this place is adorable. For sure. I love it when the random chickens are just on the street. I love grocery stores. It's been such a long time since I've gotten to check out grocery stores in a new country. This is the biggest one I've seen in town. It's called the Chinese grocery store. This place is kind of like a mini Walmart. It has everything. They even have my favorite soda water from Thailand. Luang Prabang is renowned for its street food, and you know we love that. The scene centers around the night market, so we figured what a better way to start out our time here than to hit the night market. There's so many things to choose from. I like to walk around and then choose. Gonna have to try some of that. That is Korean dokboki, which is one of my favorite things in the whole world. This is a Wednesday night. This place is pretty popular. We are gonna start out with some of that cow soy. And when you download the Loka app, it is very easy to pay. Scan their little dude. Cup chai. This is cow soy. Add in a little lime. Oh, I expected it to be spicy. It's not. It has some vinegar in it. I I don't think it's a good one because it doesn't have a lot of flavor. It tastes like old ground beef and noodles. Right next to a huge steaming bowl of foreshadowing. Trying these lovely fried mushrooms, get those in there. Those tiny little mushrooms, I don't even know what they're called, but they always seem to be everywhere over here. Got this spicy sauce. Beware in Laos when you ask for spicy, because it's like Thailand spicy, Ooh. but I love it. Not too much batter on them. The sauce really brings out the flavor. Those are delicious. That's my favorite thing I've had all day. It's no secret that Korean food is some of our favorite food in the world. So when we saw a little Korean stand here serving up dokboki and kimbap, had to jump on it. First off, even though it'll probably melt my face off, go with the dokboki. The thick rice noodle called dok and that really spicy Korean chili sauce. Mmm, very nice. Noodles are cooked long enough to be soft. That sauce is not super spicy for me, but it's probably a little more than you'd want if you were a lightweight. Maybe it's a little spicier than I thought. Next up and closing out this evening's feast, we have kimbap with meat, kogi. Remember that word. Looks like a sushi roll. There you go, look at that. Autofocus is going great. Try it without sauce first. Mm. Wow. There's whatever the meat is, probably a hot dog. It doesn't taste like it. It's absolutely scrumptious. You got the nice soft nori around it. The rice is really fresh. There's about seven different types of vegetables and radishes and pickles in there. No spice in that one. That is my favorite thing. That's the plant of the mushrooms. That's my favorite thing I've had to eat all day. Kate's probably gonna finish this off after I let her try it. So that's kind of us. I think that's about all we're gonna eat tonight, but we will definitely get into exploring the food scene more here in Luang Prabang. And we're just gonna enjoy this market a bit. Catch y'all later. Hi. So we think it's really important to share all of our pleasant experiences as well as the not so pleasant ones. And that cow soy fits into the not so pleasant experiences. Knew it was a little off. Ah, chicken, mess you up! That's not going to be good for business. That's not going to be good for anybody. Katie tried it, didn't really like it, so she didn't eat much. I didn't want to waste it, so I ate more than I should have. We ended up throwing the bulk of it away and have had the bubonic dysentery for the last couple days. 
so back on our feet now. I'd say lesson learned, but we're gonna go back down these stuff anyway, so. Chris told him to make it spicy, so we're gonna see how this goes for him. This is lime, mint, and honey. Oh, wow. I thought the honey would really come out in it, but this is really delicious. The last time I got larb, which is like a pork salad, I got it in Cambodia, it was raw, and it almost killed me. That was totally different. How? This is fried, it's cooked, it's uh, one of the specialties of the house, so let's see how it is. That is delicious. There's pork, a bunch of flavors I don't know. There's some pepper lime in there. That is really good. I heard it's spicy. We will see how much of a mistake that turns out to be. Green papaya salad. I'd love to get it in Thailand. I'm not going to be able to talk very long because it is really spicy. That is fantastic. Oh yeah, we're got chicken and fried vegetables and oyster sauce. There are a lot of vegetables and they're al dente, which oh, is the way I like to eat them. Fresh off the grill. That is very good. Is it a Katie break or a kitty break? <laughs> they're adorable. We are headed up there today. We're gonna take the back route because we need a little bit of stair exercise. Easier way and a steeper way, this is a steeper way. First stop, Buddha's footprint. Fusi gets its name from an old Lao folk story. The stoop was built in 1804 by King Anurat. The mountain, of course, is much older. That's the stupa. One legend, with ancient roots in the Ramayana, tells how the mountain was moved from Ceylon, current day Sri Lanka, by the monkey king Hanuman. You may remember him from our last visit to Thailand. This was wonderful. Definitely come up here. It's beautiful. The view is incredible. And now we're headed back down. And yes, we concur, the riverside is way easier. You know, that sign is absolutely impossible for me to comply with when I'm gonna walk up those stairs. And we come down to yet another great view. It has pork, it's called Piggy Bean. I have to try it. It's sweet, hanging. I'm glad we don't have one near us. I would eat this a lot. This is fantastic. And it costs a dollar. Somebody's heating up some meat on the side of the road. Looks delicious. We're gonna have to have some. Wow. Which one looks the best to you? I like that. Nice and warm. They even put it on a banana leaf for us. I have to try the pork. I'm in love with pork. Mmm. It's a little dry, but it's delicious. I got brave and tried the sausage. Ooh, I think that's better. It's got a little spice in it. I'm not sure what. I know it's a meat, but I'm not sure which one. Ooh, and it's getting hotter and hotter as I eat it. It's always a good sign. Mmm. That's delicious. I'm pretty sure it's meat. Stranger. Eh, who cares? On to our next adventure. And another market specialty. What'd you find? I have not a clue, but you use your hands, eat it, and you roll everything up, and you dip it in the sauce. It's fantastic. God, that pork's amazing, too. Wow. 
fantastic. I could eat this every night. These were good cold, but oh my goodness, hot. They are fantastic. We get a lovely little breakfast included with our room every day. Just another perk. coffee shop across the street. I'm sure it's giving us diabetes, but oh, I can't get enough of these. They're so good. First up is the bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. That's real good. Zurich special profit. It has a lot of flavor. I don't. My espresso has tons of flavor. This one it tastes like white. Well, we won't get that one again. The espresso frappe, though, thumbs up. Cuban sandwich and smoked chicken ciabatta. First up is the smoked chicken. Mmm, you taste the cheese. The ciabatta bread is crunchy. It tastes a little bit of the smoked chicken. This is a winner. I'm trying the Cuban. Pastrami, ham, mustard, pickle, cheese, ciabatta bread is awesome. It's a pretty good Cuban sandwich considering we're like 20,000 miles from Cuba. Love this place. Lao Cafe Roastery. There's all sorts of great coffee around here. Apparently the Lao coffee is a little more citrusy. So let's give it a shot. This is a hand drip. This place is great. They give a lot of their proceeds to um, supporting women and children's development throughout Lao. It's nice, full body. That is a good cup of coffee. Keep drinking this coffee. Leave <laughs> the, the thumbs, thumbs up and subscribe. subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>